Hello generals and welcome in part 8 of the Soviet Union series and today we continue our battle against Syria with the third party of this war. We are going to put an end to it today. I am going to do my best to put an end for it because it took a long long time this war and of course I need to gather up my uh, forces, I need to gather up my armies and launch one final assault to be able to take down the capital Damascus. I really want to congratulate Syria for this amazing effort. He really held me off for a long time, I couldn't really approach him. But now after I bombarded his coastal cities and after my destroyers have um, cleared out all of his coastal waters, now I have a clear pathway to enter his homeland cities from the city of Latakia. And now after I did the research of the helicopter gunships, and started also building my helicopter gunships he have nowhere to run because his sams will not be able to stop my helicopters and i don't think that he will be able to uh, do the research of mobile on the air very quickly because i took down all of his colonies and his resources have went heavily down and as you see here after the little time lapse i did the cities of Aleppo and Latakia has both been falling down with one single infantry. As I said in the last episode, that taking Aleppo and Latakia is not going to be a hard uh, a task because, um, because uh, our destroyers, they are there, they are securing and they are doing the naval cover for my uh, infantry. So after I prepared two stacks of uh, infantry and mobile on the air, now I'm going for the second attempt to start my invasion from the Caucasus. But in this time I am going to be escorted with uh, helicopter gunships, of course they are going to um, give me the air cover, of course, because I really don't want to start patrolling all of those areas with my strikers, I'm not going to do the same mistake another time, I don't want to lose my strikers, because I know for a fact that he is planting a lot of sams all around his nation, so in, in that case, I will try to approach with my helicopters. Of course, I'm not, going, not, I'm not going to send my infantry to the centers of the cities because I have the attack range of the motorized infantry. In that case, I will only send my uh, stacks to the, to the borders of the city, of course. Here, my uh, stack have taken down Adana. I'm going to send it to Aleppo to uh, prevent that city from turning rogue because uh, there is no units there and after when I assemble my armies all around his um, homeland cities I'm going to charge directly to his capital Damascus so this is uh, actually the strategy I'm going to follow I'm not going to be reckless like I did uh, in the first episode of this war uh, this time I'm going to approach very quickly and very carefully I'm not going to throw my air force uh, forward because I really don't want to lose my last stack of strikers. I'm going to uh, march forward city by city from Diyarbakir, Mosul and Tehran. As I said here, you can see clearly in Diyarbakir they we support units there. And I think that those support units are going to be on tier 100% because if it was artillery, it has been already engaged me. So in that case, I'm going to wait a little bit until my helicopters arrive and they will take it down. So what we can learn from this war against Syria, we can learn that our strategies are always formable. They are always changeable and it always depends on your enemy's army. It always depends on your enemy's stand that our strategy needs to be reformulated and needs to be changed from circumstance to another so in this case after i started with the strikers and i encountered an enemy who have um sams mobile sam launches i directly and very very quickly i changed to the helicopter gunships i did the level two and already the level three is underway the research so this is how we react very quickly in uh, um, during a war So as you see in front of you, I'm sending all of my helicopters to the front. I have an airfield there, north of Georgia, in the Caucasus. I'm going to use my helicopters to take down those defenses in Diyarbakir. 
okay my helicopters arrived they have a stack of five let's send it to do its work so this is the first assault with our helicopters during this series and luckily I really got his air superiority fighters down in Mosul you can see that he have grounded aircrafts there 100% I caught now Syria off guard he is offline this is the perfect chance to take him down my infantry they are attacking the city of Mosul I am really surprised how he really left his um, aircraft down in the uh, in the airport this is a this is a bad mistake, like the mistake I did in the uh, first episode of this war when I put my strikers patrolling, I didn't know. I see that he have an army base level 3, but yet I keep my strikers patrolling and go to sleep. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done in this game, to be honest. I will never do that again. <laughs> but we will never be good players if we don't learn from our mistakes. We will never be uh, good players if we don't really learn from our mistakes these are the notifications now we turned on the odds we see only green notifications and you see from the casualties we have the same amount of casualties after Syria had a lot uh, I had much more than him and this is his capital Damascus look how fortified he is in the capital mobile artillery mechanized infantry, mobile some launchers, national guards and motorized infantry I have the range but he doesn't have infantry range but yet he have three mobile on the air that they can they can give me a lot of harm because mobile uh, mobile artillery are, are good are very good but luckily now we have the helicopter gunships they are going to be our best support to take down that stack so yeah it doesn't have anti-air, mobile anti-air, it only have some, so my um, helicopters, they will be only affected with the defensive rate of the infantry. Because, you know, mechanized infantry, they have a significant, significant defensive rate against helicopters. Let's see what happened now, I time-lapsed it. He lost a lot of units, yes, but I also and almost going to lose my stack of helicopters. This is what I said, you can see clearly his level 4 mechanized infantry, they are doing a lot, a lot of damage to my helicopters. Mechanized infantry, they have a good defensive rate against helicopters, this is why my stack of helicopters have been overwhelmed and it's going to be dead soon. But luckily here I have the range of the infantry, they also are landing a lot of damage to his stack. I'm going to wait until his sum is going to fall, because he have only one Sam now remaining and it is almost dead so when it, it falls I will send my strikers to take it down yes he is almost dead now two mechanized infantry, two mobile artillery and one infantry that's good so we are at the end of this war we are at the final moments we only need to finish his last units in Damascus, we take down the capital and checkmate. This war is going to be a win for the Soviet Union as the Middle East now is under the Communist Party of the USSR. We did very good but now we have another threat from the north. We have another threat from the north as Italy has declared war on me, it was all of a sudden, it was random and now he, I detected him that he is flying all over Helsinki to organize an attack from my backside of uh, St. Petersburg and Tallinn. Luckily I opened at this time the game and I saw that uh, Italy is moving uh, to Helsinki to start his invasion on my north but not yet my man, I'm going to prepare all of my air force, I'm going to prepare my strikers, my infantry, my national guards and more important my navies because he can't use the waters to get to the city of Tallinn he will be obliged to enter from the city of uh, St. Petersburg in that case he will find my land forces waiting for him, for him and he will find my strikers and helicopters waiting for him so this is what is happening now that is Italy and in the next episode is going to be the last episode of the series the invasion of Italy See you guys and bye bye.